Hello everyone, this is your good old neighbor Nick Hicks in Frozen 2 and no time to die and Avatar fan to that one year. This is going to be one of the best episodes of this trail roundup and this is honestly one of the female of the year and uh, honestly guys and honestly I already know a lot of people are not looking forward to this episode because I'm probably this episode will be 100% woke which honestly guys I do not give a darn that <coughs> that people will call me a woke just because I like female in movies. Honestly guys um I'm honestly um, 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 honestly I'm honestly I'm honestly I'm honestly I'm honestly um no offense um no offense to male and movie honestly guys uh, honestly, guys, don't get me wrong. I like male and movie like Jane Bond and Kristoff and Jake Sully and Avatars. Honestly, guys, I do like them, but honestly, guys, I do like female movies better than male and a uh, male in movies. Honestly, guys, is the main reason why I'm not a huge fan of Strange World because I, I, I because honestly, I really wish Strange World was a female character instead of male character these days. And sorry, guys, and honestly, guys, you know why this trailer is going to be one of the best episode of this trailer roundup. Honestly, guys, we can't forget the amazing female character of the year, which is none other than Gwen Stacy, Supergirl, the girl from um from the Secret Invention. Which is um, which that show is coming out the same, uh, the same day of the anniversary of Toy Story Four. Pretty shocking, right? And um, and honestly, guys, and two female character, which is none other than Emily Blunt, and the other yeah, actress that um, that she's going to be in the Christmas Nolan movie, and Margot Robbie, Barbie doll, and last not least, the Grace from Mission Impossible Seven. Sorry guys, and that's why it is going to be one of the best episode of this train roundup. And honestly guys, I'm gonna present you guys a Nick Cake and Frozen 2 and No Time to Die and Avatar Fan I was one you present Trail Roundup. Yeehaw! Enough further to do. Get your cowboy hat on, get um get your cowboy hat on and ride on your toy horsey. Honestly guys, even even you're too big for that, but I was just pretending. Honestly, guys, enough for the do. Let's get this trail roundup started, shall we? Ow! Oh. From gamer to racer. Honestly, guys, so the first trail we're going to talk about was, um, which is another than the movie called Grain uh, the Moto, which is a movie starting uh, David Harbord, uh, Royal Bloom. And the one actor, uh, which I don't even know about until now, and this movie based on a true event. This film looked pretty promising. The story looks really heavy. The character is really development, and David Harbour's character is really awesome. And honestly, guys, um, and honestly, guys, I do like David Harbour. David Harbour is a um is a amazing actor. I do not want um I do not want to talk about his character from H Boy, which honestly, guys, I am no longer going to say the H word because the H word is a pretty bad word. I do not care that that song. I mean, that word is in the rated G film. The bottom one is that song. I mean, that word is a real is a very bad word, just like the F word, the S word, and the B word. You get my dress. And honestly, guys, and this film was pretty promising, so let's hope this film will not be disappointed. And I will play this game when I get it on PlayStation 5. I have PlayStation 5, so I might play that play this game for the first time. So let's get to the nether. Let's get to the nether trailer, which I really love the most. <music> Two years later, we got Dune Part 1, which just came out on October. But now, um, but now at two uh, two years later, we got Dune Part Two, and we um and we are definitely talking about the new trailer for the Dune Part Two. I am so looking forward to this film because I really uh, I'm a huge fan of the first Dune movie. If you want more detail about it, check out my 20 minute video of me talking about this film because this is how much the mo uh, uh, much the movie means stuff to me. And I might watch Dune Part One on my movie theater room winning up to this film because I really want to hear um, I really want to hear any. Uh, I I really want to hear some special effects, some sound effects in my movie theater room, which that would be pretty dope. That would be pretty weird. And sorry guys, I'm so looking forward to this film and I'm probably Austin Butwell. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing as a villain in this film. And the actress from No Time to Die, she's in this film. And speaking of that, um and speaking of that, um the actress from Black Widow and Pussy Boot the Last Wish, 
uh, honestly, guys, she's going to be in this film, and she's um, and she's going to be amazing in this film, and um, um, and honestly, guys, and Zendaya's character, I'm um, probably Zendaya's character in the first film. Honestly, guys, um, um, honestly, guys, Zendaya's character, uh, honestly, guys, she was not in that film as much. Um, uh, which honestly, guys, what's up, Doom Part Two? Where you have so many, so many screen time with Zendaya's characters. So, yeah, that was my thought on Doom Part Two. Trey was. Honestly, guys, such a fantastic trailer, so I cannot wait to see this film on the 3rd, 2023. Well, maybe. Well, maybe we'll see. Uh, maybe we'll see. I might do a redo movie review of Doom Part 1 on my box, and I might post it on YouTube. Honestly, guys, now let's get to the Nether trailer we're going to talk about, which is Nether Den. You gotta be careful, everyone. It was a bomb. Kaboom! So, hey guys, in the Nether Trail, we're going to talk about which is Nether than the movie by Chris Nolan, my goat. Chris Nolan is the goat, which is Nether than Opatatum. Honestly, guys, I thought this film is going to be the best history movie I ever experienced in my life. Right? Come on, this film is going to be a global phenomenon. I thought this film is going to be a way better than the Barbie movies. Honestly, guys, I already know Harry Thomas picture are not going to like me saying this. But, um, uh, because, honestly, guys, I'm a huge major fan of Chris Nolan. Chris Nolan, he's a really awesome filmmaker, which is another than, um, um, honestly, guys, um, honestly, guys, we can't forget every single movie that he ever directed, like Exception, um, Instead of All, The Dark Knight Trilogies, and The Underrated uh, Tenet, and this film is going to be amazing, and this is going to be the very first Christmas Noir movie uh, uh, produced by Universal, because he read from Warner Brothers, honestly, guy, if you want more uh, news about it, honestly, guy, just work it on the internet, I'm not gonna tell you guys, because I, I, I'm, honestly, guy, I don't want to tell you a tragic story of Chris Nolan break up with Warner Brothers, yeah, I don't want to talk about it, anyway, guys, and Robert Dolly Jr., yup, huh, yup, he shavers, he shaves his head for this film, and he looks pretty awesome. And Matt Davis, old oh man, old oh man, I'm probably Jimmy Kimmel. I'm probably Jimmy Kimmel is going to make fun of Matt Davis. Um, honestly, I just like that Air movie, which I might watch it on Amazon Prime Video because I have Amazon Prime Video now. But honestly, God, I might demo on my iPad and my iPhone. So we'll see because I really hope I could get that app because Marcus have account for that. Honestly, guys, honestly, this film is going to be the best history movie ever. And Jean, she's going to be one of my favorite characters of this film. And not bad, Chris Minoan, not bad. So let's hope this film will get, will get a glorious review. So let's hope, um, um, uh, honestly, guys, I am so scared of that, um, that this film is going to have the same review like Tenet because people are not a huge fan of Tenet. So, yeah. So, you guys, now let's get to the another trailer we're going to talk about. Uh, before this video will go kaboom! You have got to be kidding me right now. I am getting sick of tired of this trailer nonsense. First, I watch it on YouTube, and second, um, and the second time I watch the trailer, which is never in my screening of Fast and the Furious 10, which that is a uh, that is really stupid. Just like the one movie from Jennifer Jennifer Lawrence was. We'll get to that in a minute. So, hey guys, so the next trailer we're going to talk about, which is Ned then Meg to the Trench. OMG, why do we need a sequel to the Meg 2? Honestly, guys, have you never heard that people are not a huge fan of the first Meg? It came out five years ago. And honestly, guys, I have I have never seen that film. And honestly, guys, I might watch that film. I want to see how bad it is. Honestly, guys, I might watch it in my movie theater room because I'm going to make fun of that. Honestly, guys, I'll probably... Um, oh... Oh my goodness, oh my lord. Honestly guys, um, uh, um honestly guys, I'm probably, I'm probably in the Meg, it's gonna be Josh done bad. Honestly guys, just go watch Josh. Josh is 100% way better than that piece of crap. Anyway, honestly guys, the only good thing about this trailer, which is never than Shark eating dinosaur. I know, um, I know Dino 75 is going to hate this film because they have a Shrek, I'm sorry, of Shark. A uh, shark eating dinosaurs. So I'm probably sure to a fan who's going to say, Shh, oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, why would you do that, my precious dinosaur? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That is special effects. What part you don't understand, you ingrained stupidity. 
And so, you guys, I'm probably this film is going to be really stupid, just like the first film. I might watch the first film, I want to see how bad it is, and stay tuned for my rant for this film. And this film is coming out on August 4th. And honestly, guys, I would I would go to school with my new schedule better than watching this film any day. And so, yeah, I'm not, um, I honestly, guys, I am not looking forward to this film, and I'm not wasting my money to go see this film. I'm not wasting my, um, I'm not wasting my $20 to see this film. Honestly, guys, and honestly, guys, you know why? Um, honestly, guys, you know why I say $20? Because when I saw Fast and Furious 10, uh, when I paid ticket and the popcorn, it cost $20. And I was like, OMG, this is the main reason why I bid my own movie theater room. And Fast and Furious 10, it's going to be my last movie I saw in theater this show. And when I go back to see Frozen 3, it will be my last movie theater, a movie theater uh, um, I will ever experience. But now on, I might experience a movie in my movie theater room. Honestly, guys, this is the main reason why I'm waiting for the, um, waiting for the, um, uh, the guardian, uh, um, uh, the the the, the uh, guardian, uh, guardian of the galaxy when it hit on Disney Plus. So I'm not in a hurry watching that film. Pretty sad, but I just don't feel like it. Anyway, guys, this film looked absolutely stupid. Looked absolutely cringe. And the uh, on the guy, don't let me get started with the trail music. On OMG, this is on uh, on the guy. This is hands down one of the worst trailer music I have ever experienced in my entire life. And Jason's statement on the guys, why in the world he's in this film? On the guy, this is the same actor that he was in the Fast and the Furious film. On the guys, Jason's statement. On the guys, honestly, man, just dick, just um. Um, just stick to Fast and the Furious film as sure. You as sure is for hundred percent way better character, one of your best performance that you ever did. I'm probably his character from the Meg is gonna be even worse. I'm probably gonna be even worse performance than Romeo and Juliet. Honestly guy, I don't wanna talk about this film, so let's get the next one before the new big old chum. What the heck is this? Oh uh, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? Am I watching the Meg movie or, um, let me try again. What the, um, what the monkey? I just, I just, I just read in this poster. Am I watching the Meg movie or am I watching Plankton from the SpongeBob SquarePants of the Chum Bucket? Honestly, guys, enough. Honestly, guys, I am done talking about this trailer. Now, honestly, guys, let's get the, let's get the next one before I saturate. I'm sick of tired of saturating. Phew. Got done with this nonsense. <laughs> Stupid Meg too. The trash. More like the Meg. Um, more like the Meg in the trash. Sorry guys. So um, and, uh, sorry guys. Um, and sorry guys. And honestly, on the next trailer we're going to talk about, which is never than the weakest trailer I ever saw for Spider um for the actors of the Spider Verse, which is never than uh Spider Man um Spider Man actors of the Spider Verse. I almost say into the Spider Verse because into the Spider Verse uh came out five years ago, so been five years that um it's been five years that that movie came out so yeah and even as four but i'm gonna count it as five and sorry guys and after five years later and now we're gonna get spider-man exits of the spider verse like my Morales and Gwen stacy go to the multiverse and stop with the evil villain voiced by oscar isaac just like moon moon knight and honestly, guys, and all I gotta say about even I'm looking forward to this film, but it is hands down one of the weakest trailer I ever I ever experienced for Exodus of the Spider Verse. Honestly, guys, the ticket is um the ticket is on sale now. Honestly, guys, and even the Flash movie ticket is on um ticket is sold out. On the guys, uh, um on the guys, here's a two option. You can go see this film with the ticket. Or you can go see any on June 5. You can save your money to go see that film. And know what Harry Thomas said about that. And speak of any on June 5. I might talk about it in a minute. And sorry, guys. Um, sorry, guys. I'm not to say about it. I am not to say about it. Because, it, um, I don't think I, I don't think I'm just not to say about it. Because this is, uh, um, I don't think I, this is, uh, this is the same thing that what happened to the, to the first trailer and the first trailer and, the, uh, I mean, in the second trailer. On the guys. Now let's get to the nether trailer we're going to talk about. 20 years ago, it was a movie starting in a movie, which is better than The Haunted Mansion. But after 20 years later, this film is getting a reboot. But now, it's going to be one of the most creepiest and horror thing, you, um, thing that Disney ever did. Which is better than The Haunted Mansion. 
OMG, I'm so looking forward to this film, and I am so glad that this film is a PG-13. I am so scared of that, uh, that this film is going to be really PG, I mean, really PG, because the haunting, uh, the haunting mentioned by any movie, I used to like that movie, but now, more I think about it, yeah, I thought that film was, uh, was really fantastic, but now I think it's a really mediocre film, because even the joke was didn't win at all, but let's hope this film would be way better than the end of the movie. The, from the haunted mention and honestly guys i probably this I, i'm um and honestly guys you know, see, um this film based on the theme park i mean from the theme the track then um the track um the track then which is never than the haunted mention i have never been the haunted mention from disney world honestly guys um and honestly guys you know, see, um this film has some fantastic cast like obi wilson uh Tifa the Haddishes and Danny DeVito and Willio Dawson. I think Willio Dawson character is going to be the best part of the time movie because I'm a huge, I'm a huge crush on Willio Dawson. She's honestly one of my honor mention, one of my favorite celebrity female female actress of all time on my honor to mention, just like Jennifer Lawrence. Honestly, guys, I'm so looking forward to this film. This film is coming out on July 28th. Honestly, guys, am I, um, am I, um, honestly guys, in my take, honestly guys, I, um, honestly guys, and honestly, um, I would have released this film on Halloween, because this film is a perfect movie, yeah, um, that, sh <laughs> that you should release on Halloween, because this film is like a fantastic Halloween movie from Disney, and not bad, Disney, not bad, so after you made a terrible The Little Mermaid 2023, so what's up this film, will forget The Little Mermaid 2023 and Peter Pan and Wendy, because so far, Disney live action is getting really stupid, but I'm probably this film is gonna be the, it's gonna be the, uh, the only good thing about the Disney live action, overall, Screw the Little Mermaid 2023, and absolutely, screw the worst movie of the year, which is none than Peter Pan and Wendy. So let's hope the Little Mermaid 2023 will be the new worst movie of the year. And I do not care what everyone said, but that film looks overrated. So hey guys, enough for the do. Let's, um, let's talk about the next show we're going to talk about, because this film is pretty spooky. Honestly, guys, do you want to see a Thor actor want to be in the action movie? Uh, the sequel, um, the sequel came out like three years ago. Now you're gonna, um, now after three years later, now you're gonna get a sequel from the attraction. Honestly, guys, comment in the Nether trailer, with, um, we're gonna talk about, which is, um, which is Nether, the movie's coming out the same day of The Flash, which is Nether, Extraction 2. I have never seen Extraction from the first film from 2020, one of the worst years in the history of mankind, because this film is from the director that who made of the Avengers movie, which I really shock and speechless that, um, that the Avengers director is... <laughs> It's from now on, it's going to direct some Netflix movie. And now we got the Gray Man for last year. But now we're going to get Extraction 2. And honestly, guys, I might watch the first film leading up to this film. Because I don't want to watch this film without um without watching the first film. Honestly, guys, it's what the Wolves said in the in the sequel, of, uh, the sequel movie, a uh, sequel movie book. Because honestly, guy, you have to watch the first film. You have to watch the first film, and then you watch the second film. But if you watch the second film, um, without even watching the first film, including me, I probably you don't understand. I'm probably you say, oh, what the monkey is going on in this film? Honestly, guys, just make sure you watch the first film and tell me what you thought on the first film on the comment section below. Honestly, guys, I'm so looking forward to this film. So let's get the next one. Hallelujah, finally about dawn time. Honestly, guys, first we got the terrible whip-off, which is none than the Banana Split movie, which I do not want to talk about that film ever again. But now, we are going to get a true fan twish, which is none than Five Night at Freddy's. I mean, Five Night at, I'm sorry, Five Night at Freddy. Which is uh, um honestly guys um um honestly guys and honestly uh the um so the next trailer we're gonna talk about which is another than the booby um which is another than the booby based on the video game and based on the app game which is another than Five Nights at Freddy's and honestly guys I'm a huge fan of the Five Nights at Freddy's honestly guys I have never played a game but I do heard about it because every single time I go in the stores all I see is a bunch of Five Nights at Freddy's and honestly guys I'm part of this film. 
is going to be the biggest movie from October of the year because a lot of people are really looking forward to it. And honestly, guys, I'm probably a lot of people are not looking forward to it because honestly, guys, I'm probably some people think, oh, the CGI looks terrible. The cute, um, the human character looks absolutely cliche and typical. Honestly, guys, this film is going to kick. It's going to kick Halloween in in the behind because this film is produced by Blumhouse. And I have some love and hate, um, love and hate relationship to Blumhouse. Honestly, guys, first they're making a great Blumhouse, which is other than Freaky, which just came out like three years ago. And after that, last year, we have a terrible, god awful, which is another than, which is another than Halloween end. Honestly, guys, that movie kind of feel like I'm watching the world make comedy more than the horror movies. And thank goodness the Lord, I'm going to forget that film and I'll watch this film. And honestly, guys, and best, um, honestly, guys, the best of all, this film is coming out in theater but it's coming out on peacock yep i'm gonna watch this film i mean watch this film on the hd today cc so i might watch it i might give my opinion on that so yeah and sorry guys that was my thought on this trail so let's get the next one dun 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 Come in another try Well, we're going to talk about Mission Possible Definitely Do 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 Mission Impossible Man, I gotta love that theme That theme is pretty catchy so, hey guys, and after five uh, five years later uh, when, um, when Mission Impossible Fallout came out the same day of <coughs> Teen Titan Go to the movie. I am so sorry. I got to cough for a second because I do not want to talk about that film ever again. And sorry, guys, coming in the nether troll we're going to talk about, which is another than dun 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 Mission Impossible, Death Awakening, Part 1. Yup, this film is really like a Part 1. Stay tuned for Part 2 of this franchise. And sorry, guys, I was hope this film is going to be a really... A masterpiece, and honestly, guys, and honestly, I'm um, honestly, guys, and honestly, I uh, even I think Top Gun Maverick is going to be a way better Tom Cruise movie. Because speaking of that, and speaking of that, two film is turning one years old for tomorrow morning, which is better than Top Gun Maverick and the Bob Burgers movie. Honestly, guys, and honestly, I'm um, I already did my tune style of Top Gun Maverick, and stay tuned for my tune style tomorrow morning for the Bob Burgers movie. Yup, the Bob Burgers movie. Uh, honestly, guys, it's going to be one year the um. A Bob Burgess family go to the big screen, and I might do a we. On the guy, I might do a Ouija uh, movie review of Bob Burgess movie, but I gotta watch it, and then I will get my, and then I will get my we opinion on that. And on the guys, speak, uh, on the guy, let's get back to what I'm doing. On the guys, this film is gonna be a really amazing. It's gonna be the best movie out um out of the Mission Impossible. So far, I think Fallout is a much better, but let's hope this film will be my new favorite. And Grace, she is such a beauty, and she is going to be one of my favorite characters from this franchise. And sorry, guys, that was my thought on the Mission Impossible, Death Awakening, Part 1. Honestly, guys, let me do my theme before I get the Nether Trail. We're going to talk about which is Nether than do, 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 do. Hmm, a movie directed of. Uh, Rogue One, and this film is coming out before my birthday. And all I gotta say, sign me in. And sorry, guys, on the next trailer, well, um, sorry, guys, and I'll see, I'm sorry, guys, and I'll see, uh, the, so, um, sorry, guys, the next trailer, well, um, sorry, I'm side train. Uh, so the next trailer, um, we are gonna talk about, which is better than the Kurita. Honestly, guys, I'm so looking forward to this film. I'm probably it's gonna be one of the best. Uh, best birthday present I'm going to um I'm gonna I'm gonna have in my tell you what I really hope I can sorry um I I really hope I can see this film because this film is coming out before my birthday because my birthday is September 30th. Apart from this film, it's gonna be um it's gonna be a fantastic early birthday present. So thank you, 20th Century Studio. Thank you, director for Rogue uh sorry Rogue One, and thank you, the actor from hmm, I. Think so? I think it's from Tenet. I don't know. Or oh, the Great Showman. I don't know. Anyway, a part of this film is gonna be really amazing. So let's get the next one. Now, let's be serious real quick. There was a movie 
which is produced by Apple TV. And I was really hoping this film was coming out on streaming. But this film was coming out in theaters. Uh, just like way um, Amazon Prime Video released Air on theaters. I mean, in theaters. And released it on the plug rip on the Amazon Prime Video. But if you want to watch the Air, just go watch that. I might watch it. Maybe we'll see. Anyway, so... So the next trailer we're going to talk about for this week's trailer roundup. Starting Leonardo, um, Leonardo Turgeson, um, um, Robert, um, Robert De Niro, and the actor from The Whale, which I might watch that movie pretty soon, which is another then Carol of the Flower Moon. I am so looking forward to this film. I thought this film is from the director that who made The Wolf of Wall Street, which I need to watch that film. I do not give a darn that this, um, that, that film felt like in C-17. Well, it's still with it all, so I'm not gonna complain for that. And they made one of my favorite uh, Mortal Kombat's next day movie, which is another than he go. Honestly, God, I'm probably frozen saying, Nick, you gotta watch, um, you gotta watch some of his film, like the, um, 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 like the Goodfellas. Honestly, guys, I heard about Goodfellas, but I haven't seen it. So, I'm the only person that haven't seen it. Just like the Godfather, I might watch Goodfellas. So, only what we do, you know, and all that. So, yeah. And the actor who passed away, rest in peace. And so, hey, guys, I'm part of this film. It's gonna be another Mortal Kombat movie, masterpiece movies. So, I cannot wait to see this film. So, rest of this film will be a really fantastic uh, occlusion to his filmmakers. And so, yeah, enough further to do. Let's get to another trailer we're going to talk about, which I, um, like I said, like a million times. <music> Thank you, Netflix. Thank you for saving this film because this film was originally it's going to be a Blue Sky movie. But, um, but honestly, um, but honestly, um, but honestly, I'm um, doing to Blue Sky got shut down due to the box office number. I'm not going to blame on Disney because I'm not really stupid. But now Netflix saved this film. It is the main reason why Netflix is the best streaming service ever. Way better than Disney Plus, in my opinion. Even I love Disney, but the content on Disney Plus need to get themselves together. And I really hope they will move on to Miss Foul. You better not prank me just like you did for last time. And sorry, guys. And honestly, I'm sorry, guys. And honestly, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. And honestly, I'm coming in the next trailer we're going to talk about, which is the animated movie called Nominals. Yup, this film produced by Blue Sky, but... But honestly, guys, sadly, Blue Sky got shut down due to Spider Man Sky flopped the box office and they losing money. And the Ice Age is the only franchise they have in the pocket. And the Peanut movie was really, was really not bankrupt, um, um, bankrupt. So yeah. And so yeah, a part of this film is gonna be a, a another Netflix masterpiece. A part of this film is um a part of this film is gonna have the same animation, just like Claws. And look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. What got this studio? Do you realize what studio made? This is the same studio that who made Sarge's Party. Yup, no joking. From the studio who made Sarge's Party. Or am I wrong? Oh, uh, maybe we'll see. Yeah. And anyway, and what got the Witty PG? Witty PG for violent and action, some language. Oh my god, I'm proud of this film. It's gonna say the F word and the S word and the B word. You better not sit it in the kids' film. And the rude humor. Honestly, of course, every animated movie has some rude humor. Like every character is being mean to the other characters. And the actress, which is Chloe Grace. Honestly, guys, the more I think about Chloe Grace, the more I really love her as Snow White. And the and uh, and her character from Tim, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Tom and Jerry in the movie. I'm very sorry, I keep saturating. I mean, just stop doing it. It's stupid. Anyway, anyway, guys, honestly, guys, I know talk about this film. I'm really, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this film. Uh, I might do a movie review of this when this movie come out on June thirtieth. Uh, but honestly, I gotta wait until Frozen. But if I if I watch this movie early without uh, without Frozen community, no. My review will not be up until Frozen gave his opinion on that. And I know, and I know it sounds stupid, but hey, gotta listen to him. Just like my mom, gotta listen to him. Honestly, guys, now let's get to the nether troll we're going to talk about, and you guys are going to rub it. <music> hmm, Holly Bailey, she's going to be in this film, which is coming out on Christmas Day. Hmm, what should I think about it? I'm um, probably her performance will be way better as Ariel. I can say that. 
Honestly, guys, comment in the Nether Trail I'm going to talk about, which is Nether than the Coral, the Coral Purple. I have never heard of this film. A part of this, um, a part of this film is like a remake to the original film. And let me work it up real quick. Sorry, let me work it up real quick. Honestly, guys, I'm probably this film is, it's a remake from the original film. It came out in 1985. Let me see what. <gasps> Sorry. Uh, let me see what the Watt Tomato is. Uh, this film got a 73% on Watt Tomato for the original film. Yeah, I'm probably this film is on max. Hmm. Might watch it. This film is with PG-13. I'm probably this film is a PG-13. And this film is a remake to the original film. It came out on 1985. And honestly, guy, um, and honestly, guy, and honestly, uh, the main reason why I'm going to watch this film, it has to be because of Holly Berry. If you don't know what Holly Bailey is, Holly Bailey, uh, on the guys, she was in The Little Mermaid. On the guys, I do not like, uh, like, uh, his, or uh, his assertion to be as Ariel. But, um, but on the guy, she said that's her dream. But I'm not gonna ruin her dream. But on the guy, it's not because of her that's gonna, it's gonna be bad. But no, the story works out really stupid. The character's gonna be all ruined. Except Ariel, uh, um, because honestly, the Ariel actress, she really so proud of the, the new movie we got here. Anyway, guys, uh, anyway, guys, wasn't, uh, honestly, guys, I'm gonna cut that out a bit. Anyway, I'm, uh, honestly, guys, I am so looking forward to this film. This film is coming out on Christmas Day, so it will be, um, it will be a fantastic Christmas present. I'm gonna forget for Warner Brothers. So, David Zazel, keep it up. Dun 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 Yup, the ticket is on sale for Indiana Jones, um, in the Tower of the Destiny, which I honestly did not like the bottom of the title. Honestly guys, screw it, I'm gonna call it Indiana Jones 5. Go get your ticket. Uh, go get your ticket for any on June 5 before it gets sold out. See more in Screen, uh, Screen X. I, honestly, guys, if you don't know what Screen X is, Screen X is all about you watch movie on your big screen. Not just one screen. You get three big old screen. And I was like, uh, uh, uh what? What, uh, what is this? What is this? What the heck is this? The Batman, Top Gun, No Way Home, and now Indiana Jones 5 is playing on the screen X. Honestly, guys, make sure you get your ticket. I'm really, um, I am so looking forward to this film. Let's hope this film will be way better than the last film we got, like, few, um, like, few years ago. I really know Harry Thomas' picture or not looking forward to this film because, honestly, I'm probably he say it's going to be the worst Indiana Jones movie. And I was like, uh, dude, how, um, a uh, dude, a uh, dude, come on, come on, bro, come on, bro, come on, bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Uh, have you never seen the last Indiana Jones movie, which just came out like it came out a few years ago? Honestly, guys, not the one movie that true to fan. Hey, no, I'm talking about the before. No, I'm talking about the after for that. So yeah, sorry, guys, I don't want to talk about it. Honestly, guys, I thought this film was coming out the same day of the anime movie from Netflix, which I already talked about. It. And Harrison Ford is going to be a fantastic inclusion to his uh to his. Uh, to his war as Indiana Jones. And honestly, guys, I'm probably... Honestly, guys, I feel bad that Harrison Ford... Um, uh, honestly, guys, um, uh, honestly, guys, I feel so bad that this film got a really rotten wing because people don't want to see a 80-year-old Harrison Ford doing, um, doing, um, doing his Indiana Jones, um, um, Indiana Jones stuff from the 90s. So I'm probably a lot of people... Oh, all the 80s, I don't know. And honestly, guys, and speaking of that celebration, stay tuned for all my movie review of Indiana Jones winning up, uh, winning up to Indiana Jones and the Tower of the Destiny. Which I do not like that title, but I'm going to say it anyway. So, hey, guys, make sure you get your ticket. But if it's sold out, feel sorry for you, but there's nothing I can do about it. <music> guys, I'm going to be honest. Honestly, guys, I have nothing to say about this film, but I'm probably this trailer didn't hype, um, didn't hype me at all. Don't worry, people, this film is going to be 100% way better than Troll Band Together. Don't want to talk about that film, so, yeah. So, yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably in the trailer was really, was really, was really good, but it's not the best. But at least, 
at least that had the most attractive DreamWorks character, which is Nathan the girl. Uh, she kind of looked like Ariel, which honestly, guys, I'm probably, um, I'm probably she's going to be like a DreamWorks version of Ariel. I'm probably she's going to be a dream, um, a good walk of, um, um, honestly, um, honestly, guys, I'm probably just going to be one of the best character, uh, best character in this film. I'm probably just going to be a fantastic villain, in my opinion. So, yeah, I have nothing to say about it, so let's get to the next one, because I'm going to forget this film until this film came out. Honestly, guys, now let's get to the next one, because I'm so looking forward to any Unjoined fight better than this film. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. All right, DC fan and, and the Truth 31 and all the fanboy of this film. If you see this film for early screening, do not, in your life, do not give me any spoil in the comments section below. Or else I'm going to block it. I mean, or else I'm going to remove it, I meant to say. And sorry, guys. So the next trailer, um, so the next trailer we're going to talk about, which is another thing that people call it one D, um, one D greatest comic book movie of the year, which is another than the Flash film. Honestly, guys, and honestly, even I'm so looking forward to this film. I don't understand why, um, I don't understand why some people are all saying this film is going to be a a greatest comic book movie of the year. It's going to be way better than MCU. Okay, um, uh, okay. Not trying to hang on you, but why in the world is Neptune that this film is going to be way better than Quantum Mania of Guardian, uh, Guardian of the Galaxy? If people said this film is going to be way better than the Guardian, uh, Guardian of the Galaxy, I'm probably, I'm probably some people who's a who, um, who's a who, um, who's a fan of that movie is going to be really upset for the DC, <laughs> for the DC fan. And honestly, guys, thank goodness to Lord, I am not, um, I am not a DC fan. Honestly, guys, I like DC, but here's some nitpick I have for DC. If you want to see more, check out my ranking of the DC film. Honestly, guys, in the final trailer for The Flash, honestly, guys, this is hands down one of the best trailer of The Flash. Honestly, guys, the only bad thing I have for this trailer was just another than the fangirl was screaming the Flash, uh, um, was chilling for The Flash, and the one girl saying, I love you. Thank goodness the Lord, uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Wyers, um, Jimmy Wyers, uh, <laughs> did not like that at all, and, and when Bruce Wayne say, you need to get over here, Barry, now. Yup. Yeah. Honestly, guys, who in the white mind want to see a a teenage girl screaming at the Flash? That is so cringe, and nobody wants to see it in the DC. This is not Jaws of Three. This is the Flash movie. This is not World to Armada. This is not Homana Buzz. This is James Gunn Buzz. And thank goodness the Lord, this film is going to be waste, waste all the shenanigans that Warner Brothers ever did in the past few years. And one of the best character of this trailer, which is nothing than, sorry guys, that was my notification, which is nothing than sh as Supergirl. Oh, M G. She is uh she is way better than that Supergirl movie came out in the night uh um 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 which that film came out in the eighties, yeah. I might do a went on Supergirl leading up to this film because I have a lot to say about that film because that film is full of stupidity. But honestly guys, Shusha Gaye as Supergirl, she is gonna be one D third favorite a uh, favorite DC female character I ever seen in my entire life. My number two is Wonder Woman, and number one is, of course, um, of course, it the actress from West Side Story and Shazam and Shazam Fury of the God, and General Zod. Hallelujah! Thank, thank God, General Zod is returning. On the guys, and after ten years later, ten years later, and now General Zod is going to say. This universe must die. Yup, General Zod is going to be a fantastic villain. And the most importantly, which is another thing, my good old man, Michael Keaton. Yup, Michael Keaton as Batman. And honestly, guys, as far as I did not like the decision that Michael Keaton is coming back as Batman because he's really like, uh, like a used old man. But honestly, guys, honestly, guys, I take that back what I just said. Honestly, guys, um, uh, honestly, um, honestly, guys, honestly, guys, honestly, um, honestly, guys, honestly, um, um, even I'm not a fan of his costume because his costume did not look, um, do not look the same, just like in, uh, um, the other one. But overall, Michael Keaton as Batman, play for Michael Keaton. And honestly, guys, and honestly, guys, the only thing I'm going to see it is has to be Shutter Gaye as Supergirl. OMG, I really, I really want to see her actress. If I see her actress, 
I will hang out with her, I'll talk to her, and I will fall in love with her, and I happy ever after. No inappropriate stuff. I don't do that anymore. Anyway, that was my thought on the final trailer. In the music trailer, OMG, that is way better than the make to a uh, music trailer because this trailer music have the best sound trailer I ever seen for the DC trailer. And this is how you do a marketing. So I was hope was a Blue Beetle and Aquaman 2. Even Aquaman 2 is gonna be the piece of crap. Uh, but honestly, let's hope Aquaman 2 will fix a mistake and remove Amber Tud and keep Ben Affleck in that movie. So let's hope so because if they don't I'm going to say Aquaman 2 is going to be the worst comic book movie of the year. So this film is going to be way better. Way better. And honestly, guys. And honestly, guys. Honestly, guys. Honestly, guys. Honestly, guys. The only thing I'm going to say. Is this going to be my number one favorite comic book movie of the year? My answer is absolutely not. I think, um, absolutely not. I think Guardian, um, I think Guardian of the Galaxy Volume 3 is going to be the best comic book movie of the year. Nope, I haven't seen the film, but I might watch it when it hit on Disney Plus. Just like, um, just like Quantum Media. Sorry guys, and sorry you guys, I love this. And shut your guy as Supergirl, DC, Warner Brothers, David Zazel, James Gunn. And Peter Sajuan, please, for the love of God, please do not remove Shusha Gaye as Supergirl. And even I love Christian Bell, but I do not want her as Supergirl. As Shusha Kaye as Supergirl. This is all I gotta say. Honestly, guys, you know I got that from? I got that from, um, I got that from from Truth 31. And The Flash, honestly, guys, we are not gonna talk about Andrew Miller, so let's get the next trailer we're gonna talk about. Ah, next trailer we're gonna talk about. I'm a Bobby girl, who's all Bobby world, making all the messy, making all the messy, let's go party, let's go party, uh, 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 yeah. Honestly guys, even our song was really stupid, but I'm gonna say it for comedy purposes. Sorry guys, so the next trailer we're gonna talk about, which is better than the Bobby movie, starting Margot Bobby and Ryan Gondling. Honestly guys, I'm probably gonna, um, I'm probably you, all you guys are gonna roll your eyes. I'm probably this film is gonna be like a gore movie. Honestly, guys, this film is not your typical Barbie movie like you see in the animated movies. No, this film is gonna be about Barbies and Ken, which is another than Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, go to the real world and you see Will Ferrell as the main antagonist or going to put Barbies and Ken um, in the box. So, yeah. And that's a part of the film. And I really enjoy that part, by the way. And this film has the most funniest joke I have ever heard in the Barbie in history. A part of this film is going to be the funniest comedy movie of the year. Just like Stray and just like that stupid, um, honestly, guys, I'll get to that one movie in a minute. So I got a lot to say about it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And so, yeah, I'm so looking forward to this film. So, Margo Bobby, keep it up. You're getting more pretty, a uh, more prettier just like, um, just like the Suicide Squad from 2021, just like the Wolf of Wall Street, just like Amsterdam, just like Babylon, and now, Margot Robbie is gonna be as a Barbie doll, so, part of this film is gonna be way better than the Barbie anime movie. Honestly, guys, even I am not a girl, even I'm not a huge fan of Barbies, it might take, but a part of this film will be a great opportunity. I will get a Barbie as Supergirl and Barbie as Elsa. I know this sounds crazy. I know it sounds, um, I know this sounds gay, but I do not care. I do not care because Barbie is for everyone for ages. I mean, for everyone for all ages. But if you don't like this film, this film is for you. But if you're a huge fan of Barbie, this film is going to be for you. And Margot Barbie, honestly, guys, is the main reason why I am going to see, I am going to watch this film. But even I'm looking forward to the Christmas Minoy movie. But I want to see Margot Robbie. I want to see Margot Robbie face as a Barbie doll in the big screen. And Ryan Gosling as the Ken doll. I can definitely cast him as Ken from Toy Story 3 in my tune style. Anyway, honestly guys, now let's get to the last trail. Honestly guys, I am not, honestly guys, I'm not... Honestly, guys, I'm not excited to talk about the uh, talk about the last trailer because the last trailer came out. Um, it came out on on Wednesday, I think. I think on Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know. Yeah, it came out yesterday. 
You honestly guys, I cannot believe why the trailer came out yesterday when I was going to my doctor's appointment. After I got a notification, I was like, holy monkey, this is the same actress that she defend herself and she say um she say it's gonna be the very first female lead ever. And she forgot the alien movie is even exist. Whoa, okay, we're gonna take a beef breath. That's one. That's two. So the last show I'm going to talk about, and it's going to be worse than the winter movie 2023. I cannot say it. I don't say I cannot believe I said it with my big mouth. But it's going to be one of the worst comedy movie of the year. And I was completely done with Jennifer Lawrence. This is the same movie that she is dating a teenager, uh, a teenage boy, which that is a pedophile. So the last show I'm going to talk about, let's start with the no. Honestly, guys, now let's get ready to a little age. Now, so the white show gonna talk about what's another then. Oh, that's nasty. No hard feeling. Jennifer Warren and the director of The Good Boys. Nobody wants to see a movie about Jennifer Lawrence going to date a teenage boy. That is so pedophile and that is so wrong. And honestly, guys, I don't understand why some people are really defend this film. But this film is going to be pretty funny. But no, this film is not going to be pretty funny. This film is going to be absolutely cringe. And I'm not looking forward to this film. And honestly, guys, who group me straight is going to be a way better movie than this piece of... I mean, than this piece of crap. Honestly, guys, I cannot believe why and the monkey and the Neptune that are making this film. Honestly, guys, pretty... Jennifer Lawrence in this film, she is not pretty. She is, she is stupid. But the teenage boy as awkward, screw that. Anyway, I don't want to talk about this film. This film, um, oh my goodness, what I think about this film, this film make me sick in my stomach. And this film should be banned. Should be banned at China and Russia and all that. So yeah, I do not want to talk. Uh, <clears throat> I do not want to talk about this film. But I might. But I have to. But I have to watch it anyway, for my comedy purposes. And honestly, guys, I would to watch Shrey, um, for 100 times better than watching this film any day. But Jennifer Lawrence, please, for the love of God, please do not end your wife to be in this film ever again. Honestly, guys, the only good thing about this trailer was that not that Jennifer Lawrence got thrown by the beach. Which, honestly, guys, thank God for that. And she got punched on the neck. I mean, punched on the throat. Honestly, God, I'm not trying to be hot with, but this is what she get for that terrible flashback that she did in last year and this year. Man, I'm cold. Anyway, so that's why No Hard Feeling is the last trail we're going to talk about. And you better get this poster out of here. Phew! Thank God I got that film out of my descendants. Screw that film and screw Jennifer Lawrence. So again, that was my another trailer episode, which another then trailer wound up. Oh, give me a go, give me a go, give me a go, give me a go. And sorry guys, I'm probably my next trailer wound up, which is going to be in a new Ninja Turtle film, which that trailer is coming out on the wall of the total days. And sorry guys, I'm probably this going to be way better than me talking about No Hard Feeling, yeah. Stay tuned uh, for my rent of that film. I might watch it on the terrible quality. I do not give a darn that that film is going to be terrible. But it's going to be pretty bad. It's going to be the worst comedy movie of the year. It's going to be the worst summer movie of the year. Just like the little movie. And sorry guys. And stay tuned for my videos tomorrow. And stay tuned for my rant on part 2 on Rotten Tomato. Because Rotten Tomato have not get themselves together. And I was really hoping they got themselves together. But ain't wrong. After the little movie got the 71% on Rotten Tomato. I was, I was hopeful for Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, screw Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, screw Jennifer Lawrence. And that no hard feeling. Yeah, that... Yeah, that movie makes my sick of my stomach every time I think about it. Yeah, hate it. And so yeah, if you like this, um, if you like this trailer rounder, if you want to see more, please, I recommend you be a subscriber, subscribe my channel, comment my video, and share this film. Um, I mean, share this video for the whole family for all ages. And so yeah, guys, I'm done for the night. I'm just gonna forget no hard feeling out of my memory, and just like the Meg too, I'm just gonna forget those film. Out of my memory, I would stare at Shasha Gaye as Supergirl, Margot Robbie as the Barbie doll, and Jean from that new Christmas Noir movie, 
for a hundred times better than staring at Jennifer Lawrence, um, dating on the um dating a teenage boy, which that is a pedophile, and that movie should be banned. So I gotta say, I'm not taking that movie right to Susie, but I'm, but I, but I don't think I'm getting, oh my god, I'm getting sick and tired of this pedophile nonsense. First we got a pedophile from 2020, to another met the girl and what? Mm. Honestly, guy, I'm the one to talk about it. It's so disgusting. Ugh. <sighs> Sick world we're living in, huh? Anyway, guys, subscribe, comment, share the video with your family. In my next trailer roundup, which is another than, um, which is another than the new Ninja Turtle film. I mean, from the new Ninja Turtle film produced by Seth Rogen, the same actor that he was in This Is The End and the Super Mario Bros. movie as Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. And so, yeah, I'm done for the night. So, if you want to see more, subscribe, comment, share the video with your family. And have a great night, everyone. And I see you guys next time. And Sony, please let no hard feeling to fop. Nobody wants to see a movie about Jennifer Lawrence dating a teenage boy. That is so disgusting. And that is really disrespectful to Hollywood, to comedy genre. And that movie is going to be ruining the comedy genre. Do you honestly think Plan or Guy is going to be bad comedy movie? Well, no hard feelings. It's going to be even worse than Plan or Guy and all that. Sorry, guys, and this is Nick Kicks and Bozen Chu and No Time to Die and Avatar Fan signing out. And have a great night, everyone. And forget no hard feeling and put them in the dumpster by it. What's up, that movie will flop and what's up, that film will we'll get bad review. If that movie. If that movie get a positive review, I'm going to lose hope for this generation. I'm proud of this generation. It's sick. Sick. Sorry, guys. And this is Nick Kick. This is Nick Kick 2001 signing out. What's going on? Why are these men looking at me? Yeah, they're also staring at me.